traffic. Moise Alou, his son, in left looking to press dad with defense, robbing the wizard, Ozzy Smith. Top of the sixth, three to one Expos. One on with Rene Arocha pitching for St. Louis. Sean Berry doubles the third Expo double of the inning. Third two bagger, and the Expos get three runs in. They lead the game four to one. Bottom of the sixth, though, four to two Expos. The Cardinals have two out spaces loaded for Greg Jeffries, who singles to right, scoring Ray Lankford and Luis Alisea. We're tied at four after six. Still tied at four into the bottom of the night. Two on. Bernard Gilkey against Jeff Shaw. Game is on the line. Jeffries had a big night. Yes, we see that. And here's Gilkey taking Shaw up the middle. Jeffries, I said he had a big night, scores the winning run. No throw from center field. And so the St. Louis Cardinals come from behind to beat Montreal by a score of five to four. The current National League East standings, the Phillies increase their lead over the Montreal Expos to five and a half games. But go see the manager waving goodbye to his lead. No, he's telling Kurt Schilling, don't throw a high fastball to Jeremy Burnett. If you do, this is what he'll do with it. One nothing New York. Eric Hillman, the tough luck lefty on the mound for the match, protecting a two to one lead in the seventh. When Mariano Duncan, clutch hitter of late for the Bills, doubles to right, scoring Kevin Stocker, and we're tied at two. Next batter, John Cruck, who's been in a woeful slump, singles to right, scoring Duncan. Phillies take a three to two lead. Bottom of the seventh, Todd Hunkley, though, singles to right, scoring Jeff McKnight. The game is tied at three. Cue the rainstorm and the 35 minute rain delay, and they needed the exercise anyway. Phillies had a run on the sack fly when play resumed. And then Lenny Dykstra with two on and two out, three two pitch, runners going. All right, you expect one run to score in a single. You don't expect the guy to come around all the way from first. Look at Jeff Kent. He holds the ball. Hey, isn't that pretty, Jeff? Watch him slide. He didn't even throw the ball to home plate. Well, that's why the Mets have the worst record in baseball. The Phillies say thank you very much and get out of town. They fly off to Montreal. They'll have an off day Thursday with the Phillies. Uh, the Brew Crew, Jim Abbott, trying to regain that no-hit form. Him, first inning, he, he walks to. Vaughn, Yount. Now the 3-2. And Dave Nielsen and with the bases loaded. It. Sirhoff scores one nothing Brewers. Bottom two, two outs, they're loaded and again. A Not a walk, there. but a hit for Yount. Down, Down the, the line and left. Line. Hamilton, Sirhoff, Hamilton and Vaughn scores. all score. Sirhoff Abbott, scores. a rough day. Last one and two-thirds. Five hits, five walks, five runs, second shortest start of his career. Leyritz hit his 12th, Surhoff four for five. Abbott responsible for five of those Brewer, 15 Brewer walks, which is a team record, and said afterwards, this tears me up. Roger Clemens in his 10 win, 13 loss record on the mound for Beantown. He's up one zip. David Segui at the plate. And he goes opposite way. Pagliarulo, Hoyles both come in. Segui's got 56 RBIs, quietly getting the job done. Later in the second, 4-1. Devereaux up the middle and Fletch to his right to make the play. In the fourth, Mike Mussina against Tim Nairing. Goes up 4-3 and Nairing misses a home run by about three feet. However, two score. Sox win 6-5. Nairing two for four, three RBIs. Tony Pena hitting 169 goes two for two. After the game, Mussina, who lost, complained about soreness in his back and Okay. Was he one of the ruthless people in the stands? Enough. John Olerud off Mike Moore. Henderson scores, and Joe Carter knows who the RBI man is. Olerud's 100th on the year, and the Canadian fans love it and him. Great defense. Eric Davis robbed by Darnell Coles. There's some bad D as well. Dan Gladden's easy pop fly. Roberto Alomar, no. Blue Jays 5-2. Great night for Coles, who launches a double to right of Joe Baver. Tony Phillips can't make it. Olerud scores, and the Jays go on to win big 14-8. The game lasted four hours and 12 minutes. Longest nine-inning game in the day. Tony Fernandez had a hit for every hour they played, four for four. A rough night for a young Javi Lopez behind the plate, takes a foul tip off the mask there. One one top of the six, Chris Sabo on first. Hal Morris lays down the butt. Merker takes his time. Takes too much time. The ball gets away from Belliard. He jogs after it. Sabo comes around and scores. Three to one Reds bottom of the six. Fred McGriff takes Riho out of the yard. Homer number 34. Reds lead is down to three to two. Top of the eighth. Three to two. One out. Runners on second and third for Cincinnati. And Juan Samuel facing Mark Wolders. He singles against the drawn in infield. It's five to two Reds. Now we go to the top of the ninth. One out. A man on. It is six to two Reds. They got it in the bag, right? Well, Mark Klesko crushes a two-run shot to draw the Braves within two at six to four. Something to hoot about in Atlanta. In comes Jeff Burden out of the Cincy pen. Joe Oliver, the catcher, well, he calls for, obviously, the wrong pitch. Because there it goes. Off the bat of Otis Nixon, a double. Could it be? Could it be another rally? Next batter, Jeff Blauser. He'll single the center off Reardon. Out comes Davey Johnson. And he'll bring in his ace, Rob Dibble, to close the door. Two runners on. 
Braves down by two. First pitch to Ron Gann. Necessarily the double from 93. Rip to left. This is going to go to the corner. It's off the fence. It's gone. It's gone. The Braves win. They win it. I don't believe it. Well, you can believe it, Chris. Ron Gann taking the home run trot. Everybody out of the dugout to greet him. The Braves erase a four run deficit in the ninth, and they just keep on trucking. Unbelievable performance by the Atlanta Braves, especially in the second half of the season. David Johnson. Well, that looks as it all, doesn't it? Smith, the winner. Dibble gets the loss. Gant now is hot. Yes, I guess so. Torres gets the call. Second inning, nobody on. Rick Wilkins calls him. He reaches out and touches this ball over the fence. One nothing. Cubs early. Cubs up two zip in the sixth. Sammy Sosa makes history, stealing his 30th base of the year. The first ever Cub in the 30 30 club. His teammates applauding. 30 homers, 30 stolen bases. First ever Cub. Then the same inning, Sosa on third. Jose Vizcaino at bat. Here comes the suicide squeeze. Here comes Sammy. He scores. Three zip Cubs and Dusty Baker's not happy. But in the ninth, the Giants make it three to one. They have a man on. The pinch hitting Barry Bonds. You be the judge. Did he go around? Watch it, Bobby Cox in Atlanta. Does he go around on the two strike pitch? No, he didn't go around. Let's appeal to third. He went around. Are you kidding me? Get some glasses down there. But the call stands and the Braves are happy about it. That's right. The Giants have lost eight in a row. When you're going bad, you're going bad. Can't believe that call. Cubs win it three to one. They sweep their first ever three game series at the Sticks in 77. That's 16 years ago. Randy Myers leads the majors in uh, saves now with 46. Cora facing David Cohn. And Cora rips a double to the gap. Tim Raines comes around to score. Sox lead a two zip after a half inning. The Royals come right back. Bottom one. Mike McFarland up against Alex Fernandez and smacks a double to left. Knocking in Brian McCray two to one after one. Top of the fifth. Sox lead four three. The big hurt. Ouch. Yes, he tattoos this one. A double. Knocking in Cora. RBI number one twenty six leads the majors. Royals tied it at five until the ninth. Top of the ninth. Dallas Burks goes the other way. Knocking in Rock and Robin Ventura. The Chai Sox led at six five. But the Royals tied it up in the bottom of the ninth. To the top of the eleventh. Tied at six. Lance Johnson up with the bases. Is juice. Gene Lamont says, Gee, we need a clutch hit. Somebody moving. give it to me. There it goes. Uh, right on cue. Past the drawn in shortstop. And the Chi Sox go on and win it by a final of 10 to 6. The Royals drop 2 of 3 to the White Sox in a series they really had to sweep. Joey Cora notches his 75th extra base hit of the year. Break. Wow. It feels dangerous in there. A shot to the right side, but Trent Gates, the dive, and throws him out. Winfield can't believe a fellow gopher would do that to him. More on that in a sec. Second at bat, fourth inning, and this one drops. That's hit number 2998. Nine, Let's hang on to that ball. It's two away from 3,000. And the six, Big Dave's up again. Just gets under it, but Kurt Abbott has trouble. Would it fall for a hit? It wouldn't. Abbott makes the grab. In the eighth, Winfield again pops this up. And Henry Mercedes is son. No, he's is he under it? Is he? Look out, ump! Oh, the ump almost gets nailed. Still makes the catch. Herbeck did hit his 20th home run. Troy Neal is 19th. As for Gates' play at second, one gopher taking a hit away from another. Winfield said afterwards, "Quote: That's brutal. The guy went to the same same school as me and is going to go all out against me." With men on first and second against Roger Pavlik. Grounds to Dean Palmer. No, he steps on the bag. That's all right. And here comes one wild throw. And uh, Palmero in right field. He tries to hurry his throw. No, nah, that didn't work. And Donald Harris is backing up. And he'll try and get the runner third. No, nah, that didn't work. Roger Pavlik. Uh, well, you, you know, you get the idea. The Indians got two runs. That's unbelievable. These are major leaguers. 3 3 in the seventh. First and second for Butch Davis. No outs. And Davis sack butt is fielded by Jim Tomey. And He's been watching the Rangers because he throws it away. As Casey said, can anybody here play this game? David Hull scores, and Rangers go on to win it by a count of seven to four. They win despite three outfield starters missing. No Juan Gonzalez, bad back. No Rob Ducey. He's an expectant father with his wife, where he should be. And Gary Reedus, pull hamstring. He didn't play either. Against the Angels, bottom of the fourth, the bases were loaded, and that's Tim Salmon, rookie of the year. You got it. It's a grand slam. Angels lead 9-1, and Lou... That was a grand slam, Lou. The final score of the game was 15 to 1. Chili Davis hit a home run from both sides of the plate for the seventh time in his career. A couple of three run shots. He's got 100 runs batted in after the game. Salmon had x rays on his left ring finger, proved to be broken, still waiting on word of surgery. Bucks and Marlins from the fishbowl, 8 1 the final score in that game. Cook has fried the fish in his three starts against them, allowing only four runs.